Three-five year old female. Again, here we are now. We're going to do the injection for osteitis pubis. She's tender, um, perhaps a little bit distal to the bone at the origin of the adductor tendon. So uh, we may focus a little bit there with the injection. Here we're going to go over a 3D model of this injection. This model is actually used for a cortisone and saline injection for osteitis pubis, but essentially demonstrates the same orientation of the probe and needle, as well as placement of the needle. Here we're going to go over the approach of an injection for osteitis pubis. Here's some of the musculoskeletal anatomy and neurovascular anatomy in the groin, and this injection is going to be medial to the main neurovascular structures that you can see here. The probe is almost invisible, and here we're making a little bit more visible, and this is the approach essentially of this procedure. We're in a sagittal oblique plane, in-plane approach um, during the injection, and we're essentially trying to get the needle at the origin of the adductor musculature, essentially at the adductor longus, essentially, perhaps a little bit of the adductor brevis tendon as well. And here you can see some of the injected going superficial to the adductor longus tendon. Here you can see the needle in an in-plane approach. We're heading right towards the adductor longus muscle tendon junction, it appears, and you can see the nice layering of the adductor longus muscle over the adductor brevis muscle. Here the needle is starting to enter into the proximal aspect of the adductor longus, perhaps in the tendon, just near the inferior pubic ramus. And essentially the needle tip is just superficial to the tendon, it appears at this point. And here we're continuing to advance the needle and appears to be some flexibility as well as within this tendon and muscle as, as the needle is essentially pushing that tendon and muscle downwards, it appears. So here we are, we have the needle where we want it, just near the origin of the adductor musculature. And now we're gonna start with the PRP injection. Here you can see the needle tip essentially right in, it appears, at the adductor longus tendon. And here's the PRP spreading superficial to the adductor longus tendon. Here it is in slow motion. And we can see that flash of the PRP going over essentially the adductor longus muscle and tendon. It travels mostly distally, it appears, but there may be some proximal travel of the injectate as well. And here again is at full speed. We can see the needle tip again into and over the adductor longus muscle and tendon, and again spreading nicely both proximally and distally over the adductor longus muscle and tendon.